My name is Tammy Regan, and this is Hank. Hank is the namesake for my nonprofit organization for Hank's Sake. I actually rescued Hank in Kentucky eight years ago. I found him standing alone and muddy in a field, his basic needs unmet. So eight years later, here Hank and I are, ringing the Salvation Army kettlebells. I made a promise to my father four and a half years ago that when I had Hank trained, we'd go back into service with the Salvation Army. And I promised him that we would ring the Salvation Army kettlebells. Four months later, my father passed away. Last year, Hank and I rang the bells for the first time in honor of my dad on my dad's birthday, December 18th. So Hank is just a very clever horse in general. He's brilliant. He's very smart and learns quickly. And on this promise that I made to my father, I just started teaching Hank to ring the bell. So the behind the scenes ringing the bell, I just put a little applesauce on the handle and it was his motivation to ring the bell. Hank, as you see, loves to perform. He does, he loves making people happy, he loves making people smile. From the youngest to the oldest, when people see Hank ringing bells, it, it makes everyone smile and happy. It just brings out so much laughter in people. It's wonderful to watch and seriously, it encourages Hank. The more people smile and laugh, the more he performs and the better he becomes. So the response has been overwhelming. Uh, seeing the compassion that he brings out of people is rewarding. What I loved about it so much last year is that parents used Hank as an example to teach their children about giving. I loved how it sparked the compassion in parents to then teach lessons to their children. And they were just fascinated that a horse this large, this calm, this beautiful, was once a forsaken horse and now, now he's in a public place teaching lessons to young children and inspiring the next generation of giving. The Salvation Army is all about second chances and that's what For Hank's Sake is about. We're about second chances too for both horses and humans. I think.